What's going on everyone? Um, I haven't made a video in a while because I've been a bit busy, but uh, I'm back with another tutorial on how to do wave dashing. Um, I'm sure if you click on the video you know what it is, but basically it's a great tool for machimas, um, you know, to get in close and to mix up, like doing electric or mixing it up with the overhead kick or, you know, house sweep or whatever. Um, basically it's a tool you absolutely need if uh, you're going to play a machima. So, and yeah, I when I got my stick, I didn't really know how I was going to do it. Um, and I looked at some of the guys and they were outdated, so I thought I'd make one straight for Tekken 7. Alright, so, firstly, you got to start slow. So, you can't just try and do it really quickly and wonder why it's not coming off. So, basically, you want to start off by doing forward, then with the rest of your hand you push down and then you lock it into place like this but be careful because I didn't know why it wasn't coming off when I was doing it and uh, he just stopped like this and I wouldn't know why it wouldn't continue basically you have to make sure it goes all the way to a quarter circle forward motion so you gotta go like this and bring it all the way around to there you can't just stop there because if you do it won't connect as a wave dash and then um, you know it's just basically useless because you're just stopping in front of them holding forward and they can just launch you so basically you want to go forward down forward to the edge and then forward and when you do it when you start off it'll probably look like this and that's fine if you can do this you're already you know doing well um, the way I learned to continue on from here was I would put a forward after it and then that's basically a wave dash from start to finish and then I would practice connecting those to each other so the wave and then the forward movement like that and when I got to the, when I got used to that basically I just tried to do it a bit faster sorry like this and uh, basically, yeah, like, it's pretty much that's all there is to it. It's just a lot of practice. Like, it took me a couple of seconds to explain it, but it's actually, it took me a lot, a lot longer to actually be able to use it in a match. Um, and, you know, be effective with it. And, uh, and it's also a great, you know, gap closer as well. So, if you're back here, look at the difference between this. Running compared to this. Look how fast it got in there, you know what I mean? So, um, that's basically it for the left side. Now, I'll teach you how, guys how to do it on the right side. Now, left side... Oh, and one more thing as an extra bonus for you guys. If you know how to do it on the left side, you also know how to Korean backdash. It's the exact same command for me. Um, but be careful though, because characters with a back sway, this won't work. Because you can't hit down when you do the backdash. So basically, if you want to make some space for yourself and you're a Mishima and you're on this side, it's the exact same command. So anyway, onto the right, onto the left side now. Um, so basically, it's a lot harder on the on the left side and will take you a lot longer to learn. So because obviously with your left hand, there's like a motion forward, down, and then lock it into place. So it's like a it's like a motion, you know what I mean? It's it's like a circle. It's easy to you know complete and continue with the left side it's going to be all with this part of your hand so you'll be going like this forward down and then forward like that like that now it is a lot harder and I'm not even that good at it but you need to be able to do both sides if you're going to pick a Mishima um, and basically, yeah, that's that's all there is to it. So you want to start off with forward, down, down forward, but bring it to forward, like a quarter circle forward. So you want to go like that. So yeah, that's pretty much the wave dash on a stick. Um, you know, the more you practice, the more you will get better. And I, I'm telling you now, I reckon this, doing it on a stick is much easier than on a pad. So. If you guys got a stick and you want to learn to wave dash, you know, 
This is the perfect tutorial that you can learn and um, just keep at it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, subscribe for more tips and tricks. Peace.